Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rashmi Ali. Are you facing hair fall, slow hair growth, dandruff, itchy scalp, fungus, any kind of issues like that? Today I'll be sharing a home remedy with you which is super effective in treating all those problems, especially the hair fall problem which many many people have. Uh, sometimes your problems are due to thyroid, uh, thyroid disorder or vitamin D deficiency or iron deficiency. So if you're having a severe hair fall, you should go and get yourself checked from the doctor and make sure that you're not deficient or any problems with your body like that, internal problems. But uh, if everything is okay like that and you're just facing a, a temporary hair fall issue due to a weather change or um, the stress or something like that, the remedy which I'll show you today is going to help you out. So before we begin the video, make sure to subscribe to this channel, thumbs up this video and comment and share. So let's get on with the video. So guys, the very first and the very main ingredient for our remedy will be onion. Now I'm talking about yellow onions, not the red ones and not the white ones. Yellow onions have the highest content of sulfur, which helps with hair fall, hair growth, and mainly all the hair problems. So we are using yellow onion. I have a half an onion. It was a big onion, so I'm using only half of it because we don't need all of it. The next ingredient is curry leaves. Curry leaves have beta carotene and all that good stuff in them which help with hair growth. So we'll, we'll be using um, curry leaves. We have a couple cloves of garlic which also contains sulfur and is very useful in hair growth. If you are facing dandruff problems then you need to add half a lemon in there. But if you don't then you don't need to add it, that's fine. And then over here I have aloe vera juice. This juice is freshly extracted from the aloe vera leaf. I brought the leaf and I chopped it up into, actually I removed the skin, chopped it up and I made the juice and I'm just using a little bit, like maybe two tablespoons of aloe vera juice, we don't need too much of it. We need to add some kind of oil in this remedy. Over here I'm using the My Glam USA Ayur Magic Hair Oil. This is an Ayurvedic hair oil which is made out of 16 herbs and uh, different stuff, different ingredients, which is very effective in helping you with your hair fall, hair growth, and softening your hair. If you do not have this oil, of course you can buy this oil from my website www.myglamusa.com but if you don't have this oil, you can always use any oil which suits you like coconut, olive, castor, any kind of oil that suits you, you can use it. So another ingredient that I don't have here which I would like to mention is neem leaves. Neem leaves look just like the curry leaves, they look just like this. And you can find them at any Indian grocery stores. So if you are facing a problem of fungus in your hair or dandruff, lemon juice and neem leaves, those will be really wonderful, especially for fungal infection. Scalp infection, scalp itching and fungal infections, neem will be really useful. If you cannot find fresh neem leaves, then you can always find the neem powder. I will link it below in the description box where you can find neem powder. You can also find it at the Indian grocery stores. So neem would be really beneficial to add into this remedy because we are going to make a paste out of all this stuff and apply it to the scalp only. We are not going to cover the entire hair length with this paste. We're just going to put it in the scalp so the neem will actually, all these ingredients plus the neem will get absorbed in the scalp and help you with your problems like that. And um, another ingredient is ginger. So if you, again, with uh, it, ginger is also antibacterial. So you can always add a small piece of ginger to this remedy. Today, I'm, I don't have ginger, I'm out of it. So I'm not adding it, but that would be wonderful. Even if you don't have scalp infections or anything, but ginger would just be wonderful to add into this remedy for promoting hair growth because it stimulates the scalp. So we are going to just add all these ingredients into the mixy uh, thing and we will blend everything. So let me go ahead and show you that. So here I have the aloe vera juice, the onions, we have the garlic, we have the curry leaves, and then I'll add about two teaspoons of the oil in there. That's it. And now we're gonna blend this and make it into a paste. And a lot of people, they like to take out the juice from the onions and the juice from the garlic, and then apply the juice, but that's just too much work. If you make a very, very fine paste of this stuff and you apply it to your scalp, once you wash your hair, you condition it, maybe you will still see some of the particles stuck in, in your hair, but once your hair dries, it will just fly off and your hair will be nice and clean. So you don't need to go through the trouble of actually uh, extracting the juice and then applying that. You can just directly apply the paste and you'll be good to go. So I'm gonna make the paste and I'll be right back. 
So the paste is now ready. I have made it into a very, very fine paste and I just let it blend for like two or three minutes so that it was like completely blended. There is no chunks left in there. Plus because we had the aloe vera juice and the hair oil, I did not need to add any water to it. Plus the onions they themselves have water in them. So I haven't added any water. This is liquidy enough. And this is about, uh, you know, quarter of a, not one third of a jar full. So this is enough for my entire scalp. If you have a bigger head, of course, you'll need more. But we are not going to cover the entire length of the hair with it. We are just covering the scalp with it. For the rest of the hair, we'll just oil it with the regular hair oil and uh, tie it in a bun and then wear uh, like a shower cap or a plastic bag on top of it to keep the heat inside. But um, that's what I'm, gonna, I'm about to do. One more thing I would like to show you is to make your, make your life easy, uh, get yourself a bottle like this. This one is from one of the hair dyes which I have used in the past. I've kept this bottle for a long time. As you can see, it's you know kind of worn out. But um, I've had this bottle for a long time. What I've done is I cut off the cap on the top to make it big. That way the liquid would, because this is a thicker liquid, so it'll flow out easily. And it's gonna be so easy for me to just part my hair like this with the nozzle and put this in the scalp that way it, it's not going everywhere. My hands are not gonna get dirty. My clothes are hopefully not gonna get too dirty. And this bottle makes life much easier. So you can find these kind of, if you, if you use box dyes, then you can uh, keep one of these bottles and use it for that. Or you can just buy the bottles at Walmart or wherever Target. They do sell these kind of bottles over there as well. So anytime you make a paste, Anytime you make a hair mask, which mostly is a little runny, so if you put your hair mask in these kind of bottles and use these to, uh, even, even if you have to cover your whole hair length, use these kind of bottles, they make life so much easier. Sorry for rambling on and on, but that was a very important point which I thought I, would, I need to share with you guys to make your life easier as well. So I'm going to fill this bottle and I'll be right back. So guys, my mixture is now poured in and ready to be applied. I would like to mention a couple of things. Onion is the main ingredient in this mask, in this paste. So if you don't have any other ingredients, if you don't have garlic or if you don't have curry leaves or if you don't have lemon or whatever, ginger, it's fine. You don't have to worry about having everything, uh, whatever I showed you. Main thing you need is the onion juice. That's the main ingredient. If you have that and you can just add some hair oil, I'm sure everybody has hair oil, some kind of hair oil. So just add that olive oil. Everybody has olive oil in their kitchen. So just add that and go ahead and do it. Um, initially, if, you have, if you're facing severe hair fall, I would recommend twice a week this remedy. And once you, uh, if you use it for two, three weeks or one month, go ahead and do it twice a week. And then after one month, you can slow down to once a week. And once you see that your hair fall has receded, um, then you can go ahead and do it maybe once in two weeks or as needed. But, but initially to boost the goodness of this mask, to make it help you, you know, reduce your hair fall, you need to do it twice a week to start with. And another thing I would like to mention is, if you are going to apply this mask all over your hair, it's going to dry your hair out because onion does that to you. So please do not apply this mask all over your hair. If you like to do something all over your hair, you can always put yogurt or mayonnaise or avocado or something like that all over your hair. But this one is specifically just for the scalp. Don't try to put it all over your hair, just a word of caution. So let's go ahead and begin. So I'm just gonna begin right there in the middle. See how easy it gets and just apply it and rub it in. Just go section by section. With the nozzle, it gets really easy to part your hair. You don't have to do much work in between. So I'm just gonna fast forward this video for the application process and I'll be back.
So I have covered my hair with a plastic bag just so that it's going to help from not dripping all over my clothes and the second thing is the plastic will keep the heat inside and that way it, it will become more effective and so we're just going to keep, keep this for one hour 45 minutes to one hour and that's what i'm going to do is i'll wash it in one hour and i'll be re repeating this remedy twice a week for the first month and then um, slow down to once a week or once in two weeks as the need be and one more thing one last thing i would like to mention is you cannot make this mask and keep it if you have any leftover just trash it because onions will lose the onion juice or the onion will lose its power after a while because it absorbs toxins from the air so you don't want to have a toxic paste uh, put in your hair in the next two days or four days or whatever so anytime you have this paste left over just trash it and make fresh every time so that is it guys um, I hope this is gonna be helpful and please leave your comments below if you have any questions and make sure to thumbs up this video subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.